Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. And today we are going to discuss on Active Directory design models. So let's get started. So first of all, we are going to understand the concept of design or we will understand what design is all about. Then we'll understand the design models for Active Directory. So what is a design? So how can we define a design? So design means to create a plan or sketch of something that is going to be made later. Or design is a process of imagining and planning the creation of anything. So it's a process of imagining and planning the creation of anything. Or design is to do or plan something with a specific purpose or intent or intention in mind. So we can, there are several definitions of design, but these are the very basic definition of a design. So let us say go with some background. As everyone knows, Active Directory is one of the most critical components of an IT infrastructure. In the Windows based environment, all the applications and tools are integrated with Active Directory for authentication, directory browsing, and single sign-on. An outage in Active Directory can stall the entire IT operations of an organization. Due to this criticality, the first priority of an say, AD admin is to ensure the stability, availability, and security of Active Directory environment. So the design, okay, or the Active Directory design plays a very important role in all the above points. So let us focus on the Active Directory design models now. So we have a single forest with a single domain model. So some organizations go with this model, single forest with single domain. Some organizations will go with single forest with multiple domains. Some organizations will go with say multiple forests with a single domain. And some will go with multiple forests with multiple domains. And some organizations also go with multiple forests with single and multiple domains. So it's a mixed bag of single and multiple domains. So these are the five Active Directory design models. So let us say focus on see every model one by one. So let's have a look at single forest with single domain with an example. So we have an organization named Contoso Financial Services and this Contoso Financial Services has a single forest with single domain named contoso.com and it has some active directory sites. So in the real world, they're called as offices and every office or every site will have its own domain controllers, servers and workstation. So this particular model is called as a single forest with single domain. So some organizations go with this particular model. So they have only single forest and a single domain. So some organizations go with single forest with multiple domains. Let's take an example of again Contoso Financial Services. So Contoso Financial Services has a, a forest called Contoso.com and a forest root domain named Contoso.com. That forest root domain has some Active Directory sites and some domain controllers, servers and workstations in every site. And Contoso Financial Services will have one more or say multiple domains in the same Contoso.com forest. Let's say south.contoso.com and south.contoso.com will have its own offices across and they will have their own 
domain controllers with their own set of users and computers and devices and it, it may have one more domain with the same setup say east.contoso.com with the with every site has its own domain controllers servers workstations and devices so this model is called as single forest with multiple domains so some companies go with this model they have only single forest with multiple domains more than one domains it can be three domains four domains or only two or just two domains that's okay but it will have more than one domains in the forest now let's move ahead some companies will go for multiple forest with single domain so contoso financial services will have say multiple forest now contoso.com and west.contoso.com but every forest will have just one domain so contoso.com forest has just one domain contoso.com and west.contoso.com will have only one domain west.contoso.com they will have their own uh, say offices and domain controllers along with the devices now both contoso.com and west.contoso.com both the active directory forests are owned by contoso financial services next design model is multiple forest with multiple domains so some organizations go with multiple forests with multiple domains so contoso financial services again so we have contoso.com as a forest with three domains contoso.com vendors.contoso.com and fin.contoso.com with say multiple sites and every site has its own domain controllers and devices and contoso financial services also has another domain or uh, sorry another say uh, forest named research.contoso.com and this research.contoso.com also has multiple domains say dev.contoso.com test.contoso.com and research.contoso.com so some organizations go with multiple forests with multiple domains so let's take a scenario understand this environment by by taking up a scenario over here so scenario is a single organization owning multiple businesses so let's say contoso financial services owns fabricam limited Tailspin Toys Limited and Litwear Limited. So, the Contoso.com forest is already there in existence. Contoso.com, Dev.Contoso.com, Prod.Contoso.com. Now, Contoso.com will build another forest for Fabricam because it's a different identity altogether. It's a different business altogether. So, they will not merge, say. or create a new domain in an existing forest named contoso.com for fabricam they they have created a separate say forest for fabricam.com and same thing is with tailspintoys.com tailspintoys is again a different business altogether but it's owned by contoso financial services so they have created a separate forest and same thing goes with litware.com litware.com is again a separate business separate identity so contoso financial services has created a separate forest they have their own business and they have created a separate forest for litware limited so one more design is multiple forests with single and multiple domain so it's a mixed bag now with single domain and multiple domain with multiple forests So Contoso Financial Services single forest with multiple domains so we have contoso.com with this is a single forest with multiple domains so three domains contoso.com dev.contoso.com and fin.contoso.com and they have a, another forest with single domain this time so just west.contoso.com so they can go for say 
one more for us is dot contoso dot com with a single domain as well. So some companies go with say this particular architecture or say design multiple forests with single and multiple domains. It's somewhat like this contoso dot com research dot contoso dot com. Prod dot contoso dot com. So contoso dot com is say single forest with multiple domains. Research is again single forest with single domain. External is single forest with single domain, and prod is single forest with again multiple domains. So all these four forests are owned by Contoso Financial Limited, the single organization or a single company. So let us summarize what we have see covered in this video. So we have seen the Active Directory design model. We have seen what do you mean by a design, and we have seen all the five models: single forest with single domain, single forest with multiple domains, multiple forests with single domain, multiple forests with multiple domains, and multiple forests with single and multiple domains so which active directory design model is the best man so every active directory say design model has its own advantages and dis say disadvantages say pros and cons So Microsoft has say a white paper on the internet which says Active Directory design considerations and best practices. So I would highly recommend you to say go to that page and uh, uh, say please leave a comment if you want to know more about Active Directory design considerations and best practices. I'll be creating a separate video on Active Directory. Design considerations means what? I'll be taking a lot of scenarios. In which scenario we have to go for which particular design model? So hope you have enjoyed today's video. Thank you for joining. And if you feel this channel is helping you to learn anything new, please subscribe and share this channel with your technical community. Have a great day.